Hey yo, what it do baby, it's your boy Dynamic I'm sorry I haven't made a video guys, I've been really busy for the past 5 or 6 days And I just think it was time to make a video and I'm sorry for the long, long, long wait Anyways, what I really want to talk about today is extraterrestrial life Yes, ETs baby, aliens, do they exist, are they real? Well, this is kind of like an opinion, I guess, because nobody really knows if aliens really exist or not at least for now there's different ways to categorize an alien some people will not accept an alien as a bacteria or some small species or i don't know what but some other people are willing to categorize finding a bacteria let's say on the planet mars or something like that as an alien at this point to be honest i'll accept anything because we have not found any shred of evidence that well maybe the organic material that we found on mars but other than that we have not found any shred of evidence that extraterrestrial life even exists even exists and i don't know if you guys remember the famous drake equation where you basically start with the amount of stars that are in the galaxy in the milky way basically between 100 billion and 400 billion stars which is the estimates of how many stars are in the galaxy so if you start by that and then you try to measure how many stars have planets and then how many planets are suitable for life and you go through the whole equation depending on what variables you input depends what number you get and the number that you get basically will show you the amount of intelligent life forms or intelligent species that exist in the universe and that number can be anywhere from one which is just us to a million intelligent species in the universe i don't know if you guys ever saw that special with carl sagan which is one of my favorite scientists of all time and in the special he basically did the drake equation just in case you guys want to see what it really looks like i suggest you just go and you just type drake equation on youtube and it'll get you there it'll get you to the carl sagan video it's real easy but anyways there is a dilemma in all of this and you guys might ask yourself, what is the dilemma? Well, the dilemma is that even though we have all these planets in our galaxy and we have, well, we have all these planets because we have all these stars in our galaxy and it seems like the possibility for life to, to exist is very high because of the insane amount of, of stars that there are, basically. It seems that the possibility for these intelligent beings to exist is really high, but where are they? I mean, last time I checked, we don't know of any, not just any intelligent, but any at all. Any other species or life forms or anything that exists outside of Earth. Not even, not even on the moon or yet on Mars, even though I believe that someday we will find something on Mars, maybe, hopefully. But then what is the problem? There's all this space and nothing in it. No viable creatures. Nothing other than us. There is nothing that we can find. What is the problem? Well, one problem could be that maybe we are just so unique. And the conditions for which life exists here on Earth are so unbelievably hard to, to get. That life may have only arisen in one, maybe two places throughout the whole universe. Not just galaxy, universe. Now, this is highly unlikely, to be honest. And the other could be the other reason why there is nothing looking back at us through the microscope, so to say. The other reason is that maybe once intelligent life becomes intelligent or becomes technological, maybe they acquire the means to destroy themselves. What do I mean by this? Well, human beings created a a bomb called a nuclear bomb or an atom bomb. That was the first one. And given enough of these explosions, we have currently at this point in time, the means as a species. Well, we've had for probably the last 40 plus years, I would guess, because Carl Sagan was talking about this in his documentary so basically for the last 40 plus maybe 50 years human beings have had the ability as a whole to destroy themselves now think about that we have as a species the ability to commit suicide 
And it is possible that if other intelligent civilizations have arisen throughout the universe and throughout this galaxy that might have, through the technology that they themselves create, destroy themselves as a species and as a race. And does this tell us something about the future of mankind? I hope not. I hope not. But if we find if we find bacteria on Mars, it would basically tell us that life is not that rare throughout the universe, at least small microbial life. And what would that tell us? That since we can't find intelligent life yet, there must be some sort of barrier preventing microorganisms into becoming more sophisticated and eventually intelligent organisms. There has to be a barrier that comes after the microorganism if we find microorganisms easy to find throughout the galaxy or throughout our solar system, I should say. But if we don't, if we don't even find other bacteria or anything or microorganisms or anything, it would mean that life itself is extremely rare. Not just advanced life, but life itself. Now, I hope that we do find microbial life throughout the universe, throughout the galaxy, but that it isn't too common so that I can leave some space because if it is too common, then we're going to be like, what the heck is happening to all this microbial life? What is the blockage that is stopping it from becoming intelligent life eventually? And I think that is a question that we would inevitably have to answer. Anyways, if you guys have more to add to this discussion, just leave a comment. I always reply back. Anyways, peace out, players. Sorry for the long wait.